Hey everybody, this is Perch, and we have news that My Hero Academia is coming to an end, and pretty soon, really before the summer is over. So by the time we get uh, kind of lightly into August, My Hero Academia will actually come to an end. So, um, you know, let's, you know, if you're not familiar with these series, I mean, we, we don't really go heavily into the details, but I do recommend you check it out. Yes, it's, it's manga. And I, I've heard some people who have been resistant to it because it's My Hero Academia. So is it a school or is it a, like, I think people get the wrong idea of what this series actually is. Um, what it is, is that it's been a, uh, uh, basically a manga series that's been running since uh, July of 2014. So really 10 years ago, it's going to end right at about 10 years. Um, and the, the premise is that throughout the world, there's been a great increase in superheroes or people with powers, which are called quirks. And they're heroes and they're villains. And the heroes kind of more or less keep order and also keep the, the world running in a place where lots of people do have powers. And actually, more people have powers than don't. And so the people who without quirks are kind of minority, they're quirkless. And so the comic really follows a kid who really wants to have powers, but he's born without them. And he inherits kind of the, the, the best powers of all from a character called All Might. And he immediately goes to a school. And the, the comic or the manga is not about school. It is uh, really, you know, it, it, in many ways, and I've compared it to this in the past, if you want something that has the feel of the 1970s Chris Claremont, John Byrne, X-Men, it's this. Uh, My Hero Academia definitely has that feel. It ranges between high stakes drama, pretty extreme violence, people dying, other things, and some really decent heart, uh, some good storylines of, of characters kind of you know, doing whatever it takes to save the day and be a hero and be an inspiration. It's a fun series. So My Hero Academia has done incredibly well um, in terms of overall reception. It sold, uh, you know, millions of copies. Um, it's definitely, it, it's been, it's it's won many awards. It's it's ranked high in kind of book of the year, manga of the year. It's inspired a ton of cosplay. Um, it's, it's done really, really well, and it's sold really, really well. It's had a very popular anime series, and it's um, it's probably one of the biggest of the last 10 years since 2010, one of the most successful financial uh, manga series of all time. Um, so by March, um, let's see, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going with this. I think sometime around 2022, I think we're at close to 75 million copies in circulation um, and uh, well over 100 million copies uh, by 2024. And so it's, it's, it's doing really well, um, you know, yen 16 billion between 2016, 2020, and it's, uh, it's a juggernaut. And I, in many cases, I recommend this series. If you have, if you, you know, if you're one of those people who are like, I wish comics go back to the seventies and eighties, and I, I want comics to be this way. I always recommend My Hero Academia first, because if you're a fan of a lot of like the X-Men, Teen Titans, Secret Wars, comics like that. My Hero Academia is probably the absolute best entry into manga if you haven't tried it yet, because it definitely follows kind of that hero's journey. It is deceptive too, much like Claremont's X-Men was, where like things are going along, it's all pretty innocent and, and cute, and then like somebody gets brutally murdered. And, you know, you have you know, a villain serial killer, you have kind of a lot of different pieces. It's got a pretty good lore, it's got a good character set. I, I got nothing but positive things to say about it. So it's why in 2024, kind of sad, um, here's the news announcement. It says, after more than 400 episodes, manga giant Shueisha has announced that Kohei uh, Horokoshi's wildly popular My Hero Academia has just five chapters left before it comes to an end. And uh, this was revealed on Twitter, or X, uh, which announced that the final chapter of the series will be on August 5th. Now, keep in mind, this is the mainline My Hero Academia series, and it's already got vigilantes and some spinoffs so undoubtedly this world will continue in some ways um but uh but anyway um horikoshi said uh you know apologies for two-week break they recently took a an, uh, you know an extended break but keep in world in the world of manga an extended break means an extra two weeks so it says uh, there are just five chapters left until the manga's end some might think there's still five chapters to go while others may think just five chapters left but I'll do my best to make sure both camps enjoy these last five chapters with Deku and the others. 
It was a rocky road, but I was able to draw Deku and his friends for nearly 10 years. Thanks to everyone who kept reading. It was a dream. Thank you so much. Uh, let's meet again in Jump. Jump being the, the design that basically collects all this. Um, it says, uh, you know, although the suddenness of the ending is a surprise, Kohei Horoshi, uh, Horikoshi has been hinting that he was close to wrapping up the story for several years now. He said back in 2021, the series had run for longer than he'd originally planned and thought it might wrap up as soon as 2022. He said something similar the following year, and the series officially entered its epilogue stage with the recent publication of Chapter 424. I won't spoil the series, um, but I definitely would um, recommend you go check this out. Uh, like I said, it's it's almost you know certain that there will be some level of spinoffs and other things. It is one of the best-selling manga of all time. It's got a wonderful animated series if you don't want to read the stuff. It's had several movies and everything else. So there's, there's a lot of material to dig into, but... My Hero Academia coming to an end, uh, 430 chapters, 10 years, which is, uh, yeah, a pretty massive accomplishment. And if you go and look at some of those comics, I mean, you see, and I've said this before, kind of a master class of how to write a team book of different styles, different, uh, different aspects of how the characters are, and also ways to interact with fans. So one of the things that uh, Horikoshi used to do is he would have regular fan polls of who the most popular characters are. They'd run that in Jump. It's not uncommon for other manga, but they they would certainly do it here. Um, and it was it was something where they really generated a following of people who cared about where these characters will go. Now, like a lot of manga, it's not going to wrap everything up in a string. We're not going to find out, for example, I, I mean, I may be wrong, but, um, you know, Araku and, um, and Araku. <laughs> I'm mixing up with the X-Men. That is embarrassing. Anyway, where Midoriya and some of his love interests lie, uh, I doubt I doubt we get a clear resolution to that. Um, but it's been a series of, of heart, and there's been a lot of characters with kind of wacky powers. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of uh, 1970s, 1980s X-Men, or maybe to some extent 1970s, 80s Legion of the Superheroes, because there's a lot of different characters involved, huge cast, and a lot of different ways it can go. I think the um, concluding thought I would give here is that, you know, in U.S. comics, we see so much of the... Uh, surviving past its expiration date basically comics where you know they don't need to keep going and they're, they're clearly circling the drain of you know what it is to do with these characters and they're constantly trying to put things back inside the box well my year academia's series moved forward you had characters who learned things evolved got stronger and kept moving and you never got this sense of oh we better reboot it or put things it's getting too complicated for readers Instead, you know, at this period in the, the manga's title, it's it's time to kind of wrap it up. And so I think it's it's quite powerful. Um, I've, I've enjoyed this series a lot. If you haven't read it, again, take a look at it. It's really good. It's, um, it, it is pretty much the closest thing to a classic superhero feel you're going to get in anything, comics or manga, right now. And I think it's, uh, it's, it's great writing. So my hat's off. Uh, to Horikoshi and and everything that has been created here. And if you haven't read it yet, I mean, look, here's a cool part. You can start reading this and basically read it start to finish the entire series, which would be a pretty damn good couple weeks of just fully immersing this series and, and having a good time. But in all honesty, it's a it's a solid series. It does a very good job of balancing humor and art and violence and everything else. Had some really memorable villains, had some really memorable heroes and um and it will be missed. So hats off to you, My Hero Academia, coming to an end. What say you? You going to miss this title? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.